My name is Joel Bylos. I'm the creative director on Dune Awakening. So Dune Awakening is a survival, open world, massively multiplayer game. It is a game where players are invited to explore the world of Dune. They involve themselves in politics, they involve themselves in intrigue, they involve themselves in combat, they have to survive on the most dangerous planet in the universe. And through this experience, they come to know the factions in the world and the universe. So when Dune Awakening begins, you are a castaway on the planet in the deep desert, and all you have is a knife that you've made out of scrap metal. And you need to creep into enemy camps and knife them in the back and steal the water from their steel suits. By the end of the game, perhaps you're running a guild. You have a fleet of vehicles, ornithopters flying in formation, sand bikes cruising across the desert beneath them, tanks kicking up a cloud of dust as you drive to a spice blow in the distance in order to harvest with your guild. And you see in the distance another guild coming towards you and just as you clash, you hear the rumble of a sandworm coming. That's combat in Dune Awakening. My name is Viljar Sommerbach. I'm the game director on Dune Awakening. You start out in the desert surviving, clinging to life, and in the end, you might become someone like the Baron Harkonnen, and then you try to cling to power. Arrakis is the most dangerous planet in the universe. Uh, surviving on Arrakis means that you need to prepare for sandstorms, you need to find water, it's a constant threat against uh, survival. Uh, the sandworm, every time you try to cross the desert, the sandworm will come. You will sometimes outrun it, sometimes you may not. Dune Awakening is built upon a foundation of five pillars. Survival, which is obviously everything you'd expect to see in a survival game. It's water discipline, it's the surviving the sandstorms that sweep across Arrakis. Then we have politics and intrigue, which speaks to the faction gameplay of the game. It's about, you know, siding with one of the factions, thinking about how they work together, perhaps assassinating members of the other factions. Then there's infinite exploration. Infinite exploration, which is one of the things I'm most excited about, is how the world changes over time. We have a concept called a Coriolis storm, and when it sweeps across the landscape, the sands shift, revealing new points of interest, hiding others, making the game renewed every week. Then we have combined arms. Combined arms is our combination of vehicles, melee combat, range combat, and abilities all working together to create a seamless sandbox combat experience. And finally, we have expression and customization, which is really more than just talking about like the visual expression and customization, which of course we have armor sets and clothing and a, and a robust character creation. But in addition to that, it's really about play the way you want to play. Do you want to be a trader? You can do that. Do you want to be a fighter? Of course you can do that. Do you want to be a spy? Maybe that's the gameplay you're looking for. All of these things built into these pillars. So the journey of the player, we've divided that into four parts. Uh, we think of them as survive, protect, expand, control. The survive part means that you're up against the planet itself and you're clinging on to life. In the protect phase, uh, you've gathered some stuff, you might have a base, uh, but you also want to make sure that nobody else comes to, to take it away from you, so you try to build defenses and make sure that your base is in the clear. Then, in the expand phase, you lift your gaze and you look around and you see that others have stuff as well and you might want to take their stuff. Uh, then, in the control phase, you may find yourself being a part of a guild or even the leader of a guild. Then, the goal is to control the flow of spies on Arrakis. However, you're never safe. Uh, there's always someone lurking around the corner. Can you really trust your second in command? So, the goal of the control phase is that you are clinging to control. Whenever you get into combat in the desert of Arrakis, try to get it over with quickly, because not only are you fighting human combatants, but the planet Arrakis itself is the greatest protagonist there is. 